Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope all of you are doing well. So in this video, I will be discussing about existentialism in waiting for Godot. So let's start. So basically, the word existentialism stands for one's awareness of one's beingness. It stands for vital principle of life. Waiting for Godot resembles the existentialist literature because it deals not only with existence or identity but also with the momentary and the internal time. The time mentioned in Waiting for Godot is related to man's mental condition. For instance, the major problems for the tramps is to make time pass in such a way that they are least bothered by it. Vladimir and Nistrogon constantly complains of the slowness of time passing and do their best to hurry it with their futile diversions. Like Astrogon says, nothing happens, nobody comes, nobody goes, it is awful. So the essence of existentialism concentrates on the concept of the individual freedom of choice as opposed to the belief that humans are controlled by a pre-existing omnipotent being such as God. Astrogon and Vladimir have been made a choice of waiting without instructions or guidance. As Vladimir says, he did not say for sure he would come but decides to wait till we have, sorry, till we know exactly how we stand. So Albert Camus, an existentialist writer, believed that boredom or, right, sorry, or waiting, which is essentially the breakdown of routine or habit, caused people to think seriously about their identity or from their situation in general. So basically, uh, Samuel Beckett's Waiting for Godot is a play that presents conflict between living by religious and spiritual beliefs and living by an existentialist philosophy, which asserts, which, uh, sorry, which asserts that it is up to the individual to discover the meaning of life through personal experience in the earthly world. So, being more specific, it can be shown that Vladimir represents the portion of humanity which, who trusts in religion and spiritual beliefs to guide them and that Astragon represents the more ideal existentialist portion of humanity who chooses to stop waiting and construct the meaning of life based on experience in the tangible and physical world around them. So we can say that um, it is Astragon who follows the notion of no longer waiting on, religi on religion for answer and going to the philosophy of existentialism. So basically, Another important aspect in that uh, existentialist philosophy is the doubt. Doubts about uh, time uh, make the tramps doubtful about their existence and identity. One tram claimed to be of the part, it is doubted by the other. Their own identity and existence in time is also questionable. One day seems to have elapsed between the first act and the second yet it become also questionable. Uh, the play Waiting for Godot has all the traits of existentialism. Both Vladimir and Astragon represents the man in general who is facing the problems of his existence in this world. They are interdependent, sorry, interdependent like all other men. Hope for salvation is the subject of the play and is the problem faced by the whole human race. Representing the man in general, the two tramps realizes the futility of their exist existence uh, sorry, futility of their waiting and we note that they are merely filling up the hours with the pointless activity. Hence their waiting is mechanical and deals with the problem of existentialism. So existentialism emphasizes freedom of choice. If Beckett was in fact an existentialist, he may have said the opposite so that readers could choose for themselves. What the play meant instead of being told what to think. The overall feeling of isolation in waiting for Godot is existential. The fact that Vladimir and Estragon do nothing except be and exit, exist highlight existential theme. The two wait for Godot instead of searching him out and though they want to leave, they never do. By the end of the play, one gets the feeling that they too will remain in the strange place forever, waiting for a man who will never come. So another major theme in the play is that of loss of identity. Astrocon and Vladimir are called only by their nicknames like Gogo and Didi. And Vladimir is also called Mr. Albert by the boy Messenger. Astrocon and Vladimir do not seem to know who they are 
and their past are distant memories that are somehow disconnected from them. According to existential thought, it is the loss of identity that causes mankind helplessness. So this is why existentialists emphasize giving one's life a purpose. They would argue that God has not given your life a purpose and therefore it can mean nothing unless you give it meaning by yourself. So basically in short we can say that waiting for God or still has much signification today. In that Beckett uh, wanted to wake up his audience to show how one can live one's life without meaning or purpose and to make people contemplate and think about this and maybe realize how they too are Astragon and Vladimir or Lucky living one's existence waiting or allowing one's life to be controlled by another. So this is existentialism in waiting for God or that's all from my side if you have any queries you can ask me in the comment section please like subscribe and share my channel thank you for watching.